Hello, here's a short performance I made for the Colorado Modular Synth Society Key Challenge. I've been a bit busy recently. I released an album two months ago called Wanderlust 2. After that, I went on a short tour in West Africa. I played in Abidjan Ivory Coast at the Massa Festival. Coming back from that, I had to send my sound card to repair and I decided to reorganize my studio space so that I would have more room. While my sound card was in repair, I decided to restore my instruments and I finally got the part to repair my OP-1. So now I can use the OP-1 again with my modular setup, which I had not done for more than a year. And the OP-1 used to be the center of my setup. So recently, the Colorado Modular Synth Society announced that they were doing another challenge, which was the key challenge. The key challenge was simply to use a key you're not used to using. <laughs> and so I decided to use an altered scale. I very rarely use dominant scales in my music. I'm usually I'm usually stuck in major seven or minor or staying in that mode switching between both. So I decided to use the altered scale. Even though I'm playing in the key of F on the OP1, it's transposed so that it would work with plats. So it's actually C altered, even though I'm playing F. So the OP-1 is the center of the sound, splitting its signal between different modules and effects to create the different layers. So as I always do, it's one source going through a lot of stuff and me being able to bring it in and out with the faders of the different layers.
So first of all, there was the OP1 going through R bar. It took uh, some notes from the OP1 and was moving through the recording, well, the recorded loop in the module and throwing those small grains around to create some sort of pad. OP1 was also going through the overdrive Bizarre Jezabel, which was also being altered in the performance mixer. I had Zadar sending random signals to the pan and gain so that there would be some contrast in that sound. The signal was also going through Data Bender which was distorting the signal and pitching it up by an octave. And that also was being modified by Zadar in the pan and gain, just to create some contrast, same as uh, the overdrive. <laughs> Lastly, I had some textures going into the Autobahn reverb. And I had plats on a set on a specific, specific note, which was C, and that was going very saturated into the mixer. And when I brought up that signal, it would crush all the rest of the sounds in Golden Master. So that was it for that patch. Um, I'm trying to get back into making videos now that I have a sound card and I have a better space. And I'll see you soon. So thank you, have a nice day, bye. And I'll leave a link in the description to the Colorado Modular Synth Society video with the performances of everybody who participated in the key challenge. So thank you, bye.